What is the easiest way to make money that's not yours? Well, of course, with robbery. But for that, you need to come up with a perfect plan and some courage to execute it. So in today's video, we'll count down the biggest robberies in the history. From Loomis Fargo robbery in Florida, to the Diamond Heist in Tokyo, to Baker Street robbery, this is our list. Shall we begin? Number 10, Loomis Fargo Bank Robbery, North Carolina. We start with the Loomis Fargo Bank robbery, which occurred on the evening of October 4th, 1997 in Charlotte, North Carolina. This was not a hit and run plan. It was an inside job planned by the supervisor of the vault, David Scott Gant. The robbery was committed by David, his girlfriend Kelly Campbell, Steve Eugene Chambers, his wife Michelle Chambers, and four other co-conspirators. However, an FBI criminal investigation ultimately resulted in the arrest and conviction of eight people directly involved with the heist, as well as six others who had and indirectly helped them. So it was a pretty big heist. The robbery was the second largest cash robbery on U.S. soil at the time, with a cash of $17.3 million. However, the conspirators were caught some months later, later with confirmed by the FBI that the stolen money was retrieved, but only 88% of them, with $2 million still missing to this day. Number 9. Loomis Fargo Robbery, Florida this is considered to be the biggest theft on U.S. soil, and to think that it was pulled off by one man is crazy and somewhat genius. It happened on March 29, 1997 in Jacksonville, Florida. It was pulled off by Philip Noel Johnson, who was employed by the Loomis Fargo & Company as an armored car driver. He took $18.8 million from the armored vehicle he was driving after overpowering two of his colleagues and left them handcuffed in different locations. He stashed most of the money in a storage shed in Mountain Home, North Carolina and moved to Mexico City. However, he was arrested when multiple passports were found in his possession after some time. Although the money was recovered, Johnson was convicted and sentenced to 25 years in prison. Number 8. Northern Bank Robbery before we named our number 8 pick, did you know that when a robbery occurs, the chance to get caught the same day is over 60%? Well, now you know, so don't try it. Anyways, we continue with one of the largest bank robberies in the history of the United Kingdom. The Northern Bank robbery happened on the 20th of December 2004 in Belfast, Northern Ireland. It was done by an armored gang which successfully seized a total of 26.5 million pounds, mostly in unused pounds sterling banknotes. It happened when the group of armored men arrived at the homes of two employees of Northern Bank. The two employees were compelled to open the bank vaults by the threat that their loved ones would be killed if they did not comply, and the van did two runs to take away the loot. The case still remains unsolved to this day. Number 7. Comeste de Venedome the Comiste de Venedome is a diamond necklace composed of 116 diamonds, including a centerpiece of 125 karat diamond, which is an estimated value of approximately $31 million in 2004. However, this necklace was stolen from the Tokyo jewelry boutique Le Supre de Minte Couture de Maki on March 5, 2004 by thieves who belonged to the Pink Panthers crime ring. The Japanese called the heist the biggest in the history of Japan. The crime was perpetrated by four people, three Serbians and one Scottish woman. The two women committed the actual heist while the women handled logistics and getaway. As of 2010, the necklace has not been recovered and it is likely that it was broken up and its stones sold separately in the diamond market. Number 6. Dunbar Armory Robbery Maybe you have heard about this robbery because it's the largest cash robbery to have occurred in the United States at the time. It happened on September 12, 1997 in downtown Los Angeles, California. Six men robbed the Dunbar Armory facility and took a total of $18.9 million, which is equivalent to $30.1 million in 2009. The robbery was orchestrated by childhood friends Alan Pace, Eric Boyd, Eugene Lamar Hill Jr., Freddie McCrary, Terry Brown, and Thomas Lee Johnson. The plan was masterminded by Alan Pace, who worked for Dunbar as a regional safety inspector. He then recruited his friends and the robbery was perpetrated. After two years, Eugene Lamar Hill made a mistake giving a stack of cash to a real estate broker who went to the police after and the gang was apprehended. They got sentenced to prison, but a great amount of money is still not recovered. Number 5. United California Bank Robbery 
We are in the middle of the list and our fifth spot is the United California Bank burglary which took place on 24th of March 1972 in Laguna Niguel, California. It was done by a group of professional thieves which was led by Emil Diniso. Other accomplices were his brother James, his nephews Harry and Ronald Barber, Charles Mulligan, Phil Christopher and Charles Brockhell. The plan was masterminded by Emil and the heist was executed perfectly. However, they made a mistake of perpetrating a similar crime back in Ohio a few months later. They took a pretty large amount of money at for the time, $9 million, which is approximately estimated $55 million today. Eventually, they got caught some time after the heist along with the recovering of the loot as well. Number 4. Baker Street Robbery You definitely know about this heist which inspired the 2008 film The Bank Job. It happened in Lloyd's Bank in London on the night of 11th of September 1971. The heist was perpetrated by a gang led by Anthony Gavin. They tunneled 12 meters from a rented shop two doors away to come up through the floor of the vault. The value of the stolen property is unknown, but it is believed to have been between 1.25 and 3 million pounds. However, there had been several rumors about one of the safe deposit boxes which supposedly contained comprising photographs of Princess Margaret and photographs of a conservative cabinet member abusing children. But there is no enough evidence to support these rumors. During the burglary, 268 safe boxes were opened. Although they executed the theft perfectly, they were later caught and brought to justice. Number 3. Great Brinks Robbery Next up is an armed robbery which took place in Boston, Massachusetts on January 17, 1950. The heist was perpetrated by an 11-member gang, with all having some specialty in burglary. The gang had planned and trained for two years prior to the heist. They made copied keys of almost every door and entered the bank. They got to the second floor through the locked doors and gagged five Brinks employees who were storing and counting money. They took almost $2.75 million consisting of cash, checks, money orders, and other securities that amount to of money of today's worth being almost $30 million. There was no suspect at first, but after some years of chasing leads, the gang was brought to justice and eight of them received maximum sentences of life imprisonment. However, only $58,000 was recovered. Number 2. The Manhattan Savings Institution Bank Robbery our number two spot is taken for the robbery that took place approximately 142 years ago. The Manhattan Savings Institution robbery, the heist is the second largest bank robbery in history, with loot of nearly $3 million in currency and securities, which today is estimated $66.2 million. The manager and financier of the operations was a woman known as Frederica Marm Mandelbaum, who is at the time the most successful fence in New York City. The gang she could gathered consisted of hardcore criminals, but the plan was masterminded by George Leonidas, Leslie, and carried out by Jimmy Hope, Samuel Paris, and others. Some were caught after the robbery, some died, but the money was never recovered. Number 1. Securitas Depot Robbery we finally get to our number one pick for the day and in the early morning hours of February 22nd, 2006, a gang of at least six men, some of them armed, steal 53 million pounds from the Securitas Bank Depot in Kent, Great Britain. It was the largest such theft in British history. It was masterminded by mixed martial artist fighter Lee Murray. On the evening before, dressed as police officers, two men pulled the depot manager Colin Dixon. At about the same time, two more men visited Dixon's home and picked up Dixon's son and wife, eventually threatening Dixon to cooperate with the plan or suffer consequences he would not want. The gang then proceeded to tie up 14 depot staff members, load the 53 million pounds into a truck and drive away. After the heist, multiple arrests were made, but the money was never fully recovered. Would you agree with our list? If we missed any of your favorite robberies, tell us in the comments section below. If you want more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notifications as soon as our new video pops up. Thank you for watching.